Ah. Oh. Oh, listen to that. Isn't that horrible? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're not in the studio. We're in the hallway. Not just so I can torture you with the worst audio you've ever heard, but to illustrate the point that if you have 500 bucks to spend on voiceover setup for audiobooks, voiceover, whatever it is, spend at least half of it on sound treatment. Because what you're hearing now is coming through this microphone. This is a moderate quality large large diaphragm condenser mic in an untreated boxy room. It sounds horrendous. So, to spare torturing you anymore, let's go back in the studio. Okay guys, right. So the clap, does it sound different to the first one? Oh, oh listen to that, isn't that horrible? That's right. This is exactly the same setup, exactly the same sound. All I did was pick the mic up and move it into the room. I haven't touched any knobs, any dials, I haven't even unplugged it, I just picked it up and moved it. This is exactly the same equipment. The only difference is the environment. And doesn't that sound so, so much better? So I just wanted to do that to illustrate that your environment is far more important than the equipment you're using. You can make a great sound with a cheap mic in a good space. You will not get a good sound with an amazing mic in a bad space. You don't even have to spend loads of money or have a swanky professional studio. You just need to be mindful of your environment. You can take this, stick it in the wardrobe among all of the clothes, and you'll get a good sound because it knocks down the reverb. There's no magic secret stuff. Like this, it's just foam. I know the marketing materials tell you it's somehow magic. It's not. It's just soft material. And you can improvise a lot of this stuff. If you're just recording your own audiobook at home, hang towels, duvet, build a pillow fort. All you need to do, have loads of soft stuff around you to stop the sound reflecting, and you get a much, much, much better sound. And it's important because if you have the wrong recording level, we can fix that in post. That can be mastered. If your recording's a bit dull, we need to brighten up, we can do that. But the one thing we can't do is remove reverb. If you have reverb in your recording, it's a dead recording. You gotta start again. There is nothing that can be done about it. If you have reverb in your recording, I feel bad for you. <laughs> It ain't gonna be recovered. Reverb is forever. So, I think what I'm gonna go do now is take the mic into another room that's not sound treated and just improvise something to demonstrate how you can get an okay sound using random junk you might find around your house. Right? Be right back. Two secs. Ha ha! Okay, right. Here we are. Same equipment again. Exactly the same mic. Exactly, ooh, sorry, exactly the same levels, exactly the same cables, interface, everything. Everything's exactly the same. And it took me like five minutes to set this up. It took me longer to set the camera up. So what have we got? I've got the microphone in the wardrobe, hung off the top rail. I've got a, a, a towel draped over the top that's coming down behind the microphone. And I've got all my clothes to the side. So there's not gonna be any reverb coming this way. There's not going to be any reverb coming off the back because the towel should stop most of it. And then to finish this off, all I'm going to do is hold a duvet up to the corner of the wardrobe that you just can't quite see. And then when I get in my pillow fort, it's difficult because of the camera. But you should be able to tell that this is almost the same quality as in my professional studio. But we're just using the environment to our advantage. We're cutting down on all the reverb. So the duvet is stopping a lot of the reverb from coming in behind me, bouncing off the big wall that's the other side of the room. There's the towel here stopping that way, so we have all directions covered. Do you see how that works? It's so easy, nice and simple. Right guys, I hope that helps. I hope that makes you a little bit mindful, a little bit more mindful about your recording space and how you can sort of improvise things and how guerrilla recording might work or how it might look. As always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. If there's a subject you want me to cover, drop a comment. I'll see if I can do a video on it. Uh, 
and drop a subscribe. Why not? Because I don't know. I'm almost almost sticking to my promise of making one new video every week. So follow along, see how it turns out. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.